Hi, this is Jennifer Gile, sports dietitian and author of Sports Nutrition for Swimmer. Today we're going to talk about my favorite top 10 tips to maximize your performance through nutrition at swim meets and swim competitions. Tip number one, plan ahead. We all know that swim meets are notorious for unhealthy concession options. Do not get stuck relying on concession stands, which will impair your performance in the pool. I want you to show up at every swim meet with a cooler filled with healthy snack options so that your performance is enhanced. Some ideas include banana with peanut butter, some trail mix with nuts and dried fruit, a turkey sandwich on whole grain bread with lettuce, tomato, and hummus, or a chunky grilled chicken salad with Greek yogurt, sliced grapes, celery, and sea salt over romaine lettuce. All of these snacks will ensure that your nutrient intake is enhanced and optimized for your maximal potential. Tip number two, ensure sufficient energy storage. For this, we have to backtrack a little bit. I want you to think about the three to four days before your swim meet and maximize your energy intake. What's gonna happen with this is you're gonna facilitate glycogen storage, which is the energy that's stored in your body you're gonna help maintain protein stores, and you're gonna minimize inflammation. If you do this, you're gonna be at top-notch condition when you hop on that starting block during your race. Three to four days before your swim meet, I want you to increase your intake by one to two servings of complex carbohydrates, one serving of lean protein, and one serving of good fat. You don't have to eat a ton of food, you just eat in increase a little bit more to increase that storage. Tip number three. Keep it simple. The meal you consume the day before your competition is perhaps the most important meal. That is the one that is optimizing your energy stores. You do not want to do anything differently than you normally do. So please, don't go out and order wings or spicy foods or greasy foods. Keep your meal small and frequent throughout the day and choose from foods that you would normally eat on a regular basis. Avoid anything irritating or spicy that could upset your GI system. Tip number four, focus on nutrient timing. I want you to consume a balanced mini meal about three to four hours before your swim meet. This meal should be well balanced with an equal portion of complex carbohydrates such as whole grain pastas, brown rice, or quinoa, lean protein such as chicken breast, turkey, or shrimp, a moderate amount of fat, which means a little bit extra olive oil, avocado, or nuts, and a little bit extra sodium. Sodium is the most important electrolyte. Sodium will help you absorb water. By focusing on nutrient timing, you'll maintain optimal energy levels leading up to your race, and you will maximize your performance. Speaking of hydration, tip number five, stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking water frequently throughout the week before leading up to a swim meet or swim competition. This is going to make sure that you maintain adequate hydration status. Remember, when you're just a little bit dehydrated, your speed and endurance are going to be drastically impaired. Make sure you stay hydrated. Tip number six. I cannot stress hydration enough, and electrolytes are a huge part of that. Make sure that you replace and replenish your electrolytes. Sodium, chloride, potassium, magnesium, and calcium are all examples of electrolytes. Having them in your diet will make sure that your body will absorb the water that you're drinking throughout the whole week. These products that are new on the market are called electrolyte tablets. Some of the brand names include Zim tablets, Guru tablets, or Noon tablets. They're effervescent tablets that you pop in your water bottle and they provide electrolytes with minimal sugar, if any sugar. They're going to help your muscles absorb that water. So make sure leading up to a, a swim meet or competition and during your swim meet and competition that you're including electrolytes in your hydration plan. Tip number seven, fuel during your event. Not only do you need to fuel in the week leading up to the event and the night before your event, but you want to make sure that your body maintains nutrition intake during your three, four, or even five swim events during that day. You know as well as I do that there could be one hour or even two hours before each event, and so you need to make sure that your energy is maintained the entire day. 
Some ways to do this are whole fruits like apples or bananas. Dried fruits and dried nuts can do this, provide a lot of micronutrients and energy. And also certain sports nutrition products such as Generation UCAN, which t tend to stabilize your blood sugar throughout a number of hours. Tip number eight, stick with liquids. Some swimmers that I work with tend to have a little bit of GI distress when they get nervous or anxious before a swim meet, in which case I advise to stick with liquids. Liquids are very quickly absorbed into your digestive tract and are great snacks to avoid such GI distress. Some of these examples include low-fat chocolate milk, a fruit protein smoothie, or fat-free Greek yogurt. Tip number nine, recover and refuel. Just because the swim meet is over does not mean that your nutrition plan is over. Make sure that you consume a recovery snack that's high in carbohydrates and protein and a little healthy fat within 20 minutes of your final event. This will ensure that you'll be able to get out there and swim the next day just as efficiently and build on your fitness than you did the week before your race. Some of these examples include low-fat chocolate milk, whole grain pitas and hummus, banana and peanut butter sandwich on whole grain bread, or some oatmeal, fresh fruit, and Greek yogurt. Tip number 10, back to hydration. Rehydrate. After your competition, your body is de depleted of water and electrolyte stores. So make sure you continually sip on water every 10 to 20 minutes for the remainder of the day to make sure that the following day your hydration le level is just as optimized as it was leading up to the competition. For many more tips on performance nutrition specifically for swimmers, including hydration, ideas for snacks and meals, how to handle dual practices, and much, much more, go to myswimmingnutrition.com or hashtag myswimmersnutrition.